going to be taking off any clothes. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of spare ones on here, but you can tip me. Uh, I would put the dollars in my bra if I were wearing one. <laughs> Than them, they give you cancer and make your boobs sag more. Take them off, please. Take them off. Good, good, good. Uh, Broken Hearts Club. I think I'm pretty qualified to, to talk about this. I did just finalize my second gay divorce since we got legalized. <laughs> Got divorced in 2016, got married in 2017, got divorced in 2018, so, yep, you know what that means. 2020, I'm due for another one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For this, yeah, it's been a quick turnaround on all that. My second marriage lasted 10 months, so that was pretty good. Uh, the first one, four days on the first one, so. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Um, we got. So we, like, we rented a beach house for the wedding. It was like a Saturday to a Saturday. We got married on the Sunday. And then on Thursday, once the rest of our friends and family had gone home, uh, it was when I admitted that I had never really been in love with her and I was in love with my friend Katie. You know, <laughs> who she had just finally met at the wedding. <laughs> My, my first ex-wife was uh, was 10 years older than me. Some people thought like that that age difference was a bit much. The age difference was never the problem. You know, I did not mind that at all because she paid for everything. So. <laughs> What's a little cellulite in the face of all of that monster? <laughs> I should have left her like after our third date, honestly. I knew then, because that was when she told me that she doesn't read. <laughs> yeah, she was just like, I don't really read books, huh? <laughs> there's, some, there's something wrong with our society, by the way, that anybody thinks it's a good idea on a third date to openly admit that you don't read books. <laughs> yes, no, that should be a deep, dark, attracted to kids level secret. <laughs> You should just bury that inside of yourself and not vote, you know? <laughs> That's how I feel. So I should have left her, obviously, but she was so generous. <laughs> it's not just the gay boys who do these sorts of <laughs> things. Yeah, I had never been skiing before, and suddenly I was at the nicest resort in Vermont with a $400 ski jacket. So. <laughs> I could have all the sushi and lobster rolls and oysters I wanted, and I wanted a lot of sushi. <laughs> I have three hundred dollar wind chimes to this day, so I have a few things. So finally, I got to this point, and they were in my mind where I was like, "Well, you know what? Maybe I can bring the brains and personality to the relationship, and she can pay for nice things and massage me every night. You know, <laughs> see how it's a balance." <laughs> kind of horrible person, um, I have repented. And I did not take any of her money, even though she's a millionaire. So, round of applause for me. Thank you. I legally could have $700,000 for her. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, so I did leave her, and you know, we had this like, like the day that I finally moved out, we had kind of like a, an hour and a half of crying while cuddling in bed together, which is the lesbian divorce. <laughs> That's how you have to do it, spooning. And so we did that, and like it was this momentous thing. And after it was over, I like I left, and I didn't know if I would ever see her again. And then at 2 a.m., she showed up to my friend's house where I was staying, drunk. So I had to drive her and her car back to her place where she proceeded to initiate punishment sex. <laughs> Anyone familiar? <laughs> that? Yeah, I let it go on for a little bit, you know, because I was like, well, I deserve this. <laughs> it was kind of hot, you know? If I'm being honest, it might have been the best sex we ever had. <laughs> she was so focused, you know? She was... 
I finally stopped it once I was like, well, that's one too many fingers, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know my tiny lesbian vagina can't handle that shit. And, well, because it's not as loose and beat up as y'all's. <laughs> Come on now, that's just science. Does anyone not think that's how it works? Do y'all think, think vagina size is all genetic? Because I want to stretch mine out, honestly. It's way too tight. Anyone else suffering from too tight pussy? It's a, it's a problem. Like, on a good day, you could get three fingers. Like, if I'm really up for it, you could get three. But even then, you can't do scale solder like this. You know, you crumple them up. Crumple them and use woo. And my stupidly tight pussy. I hope you can stretch them out. Sometimes, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that big vaginas, is that uh, genetic or is that the pounding? <laughs> some, of, some of both? Little nature, little nurture? <laughs> I think so. I hope so. Some are so sensitive about it, they're like, Ariel, that's not how it works. Vaginas are elastic, okay? You have sex and then they go back. They're elastic. And I'm like, Okay, sure, but so are socks. A couple of years later. <laughs> a foot in something enough times, but... Anyway, I digress. Point being, she did stop, you know. She did stop. And then, but while she was still, like, hovering over me, she looked me in the eyes and she was like, so did that feel like a chore to you? Were there other things you'd rather have been doing with your time? Yeah, in my head I was like, yeah, I was just Skyping the girl I left you for. <laughs> but I'd like to get back to that, but but you know, it was it was pretty it was interesting sex as well. I was a little bit interested in it. Because you know, it was like she was so drunk and she was hate fucking me, so I was like, is anybody consenting to this sex? <laughs> you know? But then finally, that's, it clicked. I was like, those things you said, so it didn't, does that feel like a chore? Were that things? She was quoting to me from one of my diaries. Oh. Yeah, which she'd apparently read the previous weekend when I was out of town. She went on to quote to, uh, to me from three different diaries of mine, which is full of crazy things. That thing about sex was a quote from a chart that I had made um, <laughs> comparing her to the woman I was in love with. <laughs> oh yeah, brutal asperger -y comparisons <laughs> just how much money each one makes, how much each one makes me laugh, that I could stare into Katie's eyes for hours. And Sarah's eyes are pretty nice, like if she's wearing white and light hits them right. <laughs> things I've written there, and there was a little something in there about how it'd be easier if she died. So I know I'm losing a few of you on that. I said easier. Easier, not preferable. <laughs> just less difficult for me to do with. Yeah, I know. It was a lot. So when she was done quoting to me from all this, it's just like, wow, God, what can I say? It's like, great. Now you're a reader? <laughs> you guys have been awesome. I'm your